foundation. It just feels like too much to do like a full Monday through Friday. I don't know. I'm just, it feels too repetitive. <laughs> so my days are very similar, but it'll like, I can, I feel like I can show you more and it will just be a few days rather than like a full week. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like those types of videos. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the videos on my channel lately. I posted a Sunday reset last week. That was super fun. I just like, I want to still post like regular vlogs and stuff, but I also want to post different things. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, like I just don't want to always post like a few days in my life, a week in my life type of, it, type of content. Like I want to like switch it up. So yeah. Also, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'm like kind of, I'm like thinking through it, but I have decided officially that I'm going to tell you guys the story of why I left my GI office. Um, but I'm going to do like a whole separate video, like a sit down video about it. So I don't know if that's going to go up before this or after this. Um, but yeah, that's exciting. I feel like I'm at um, a space right now where um, it doesn't really like, not that it doesn't matter, but like it feels very much in the past. I feel very comfortable in my current job and I can come at it from like a different space. Whereas I feel like a couple of months ago, I would have come at it from a very like negative um, like I'm still upset space. So yeah, anyway, we shall see. Hopefully I sit down and film that video this weekend. Um, but yeah, it's been kind of a bad week so far. If I'm being completely honest, like it's just been a lot. I've had so many patients on my schedule. Um, but you know what? That's okay. It's just like sometimes you have like bad days, bad weeks, and it's not a bad life. It's just a moment in time. So I'm staying positive. Today I'm at my other office location. I go there Wednesdays and Thursdays, and then I usually have better days over there. So that's nice. And then I think I'm going to get my nails done tonight because it's been like four weeks since I got them done, and I'm in desperate need of a redo. So I think we'll do that. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of see where the vlog takes us and where the dates take us. I have to show you guys our backyard. We got our backyard redone last week and we got like turf placed everywhere. You guys, it looks so good and it has literally changed Seth and I's life. Um, we used to deal with so much sand and dirt in our house because of the dogs. They would just like track it in. It would literally, even if we, even if we would clean their paws, it would just be like encased in their paws um but now it's not which is so nice so it looks so good it makes our backyard look bigger and we've done like a few other things we're gonna get new furniture for outside and we're just gonna do a bunch of things but we spent a lot of money on the backyard so i'm just like well, let's cool it for a second like my bank account can't take it so I'll show you guys that, but yeah, happy Wednesday. Let's have a good few days in my life and welcome back to the channel. A few hours later, you guys, it's actually my lunch time. So I'm headed to the gym. It's almost one o'clock. I usually, like very typically, let me push it out for a second. I like to go to the gym around like 12.30 because my patient's starting in at two. But I don't have a patient scheduled until 2.30 and I only have four patients scheduled this afternoon. Like, what a blessing, first of all. Um, <laughs> I only had, I think maybe six this morning, which is why I like going over to the other office because it's less populated. Like, yesterday morning I saw 13 patients. That's more than I'm gonna see, not more, but that's the equivalent of what I will see in one day to be like at this other office. Sometimes it gets kind of busy, but anyway, I would love that for me. So, what was I saying? Oh, so I'm running like a little bit late to the gym, but it's okay because I have basically until like 2.30 and then we always have students and they go into their room first and like get the HPI, do the ROS, the physical exam type of thing, and then, you know, come out and tell me their plan or what they like, what they would like to do and then we kind of tweak it, whatever. So, I don't even have to be there at 2.30, like, I, you know, you know what I mean. They're, I get there a little bit late, but I have plenty of time. I'm gonna do um, quads today, 
like tired, maybe like a little bit anxious from like my morning patient. So I want to, I, I used to go to the gym for like at least an hour every day and now I'm lucky if I get there for 45 minutes. So because I'm like trying to get back to work and I've had somebody comment one time being like, why don't you just go after work? And my gym is so busy after work. It's crazy. And I don't even go to like a super, um, populated gym. Um, I go to like a wellness center off of a hospital near me. And so it's not even super like crazy populated, but it's still so busy. That's just like prime gym time. So I hate going after work. Um, if I have to, I will because I just like, I need movement in my day or that makes me more anxious. So, um, anyway, yeah, we're going to do that. I need to call and make my nail appointment. I gotta put these BCAAs in. You know what I need to do is link the BCAAs I use on Amazon, on my Amazon. I really like them and they taste so good. Um, I just keep this in my car. <laughs> I crack myself up. Um, made my appointment to get my nails done at 5.15 tonight, so that's gonna get a pedicure, which is always lovely. They're so cute when they answer the phone. They're like, hi, Miss April. They have my phone number saved. I love them. Um, I go to K Nail Spa in Wesley Chapel. If you guys are ever in the area or you live in Tampa, it's, you know, kind of far from Tampa, I understand that, but you guys, it's so good. They do such a good job. I will say the last time they got me with these nails. But it's just because it wasn't what I wanted. They actually did a good job. I just, I don't like the straight across nails. And he was like, we need to take a break from the tips. And I was like, you know what? You're right. But anyway, I'm going back to them today because I just like my nails better and they make my fingers look not as chunky. So let's go to the gym. Let's do legs. Ooh. Good Lord Almighty. That was the quickest workout, quickest leg workout, 42 minutes. Okay, it's time to head back to work for my afternoon patients. Guys, look how messy my front of my car is. I live in my car, not actually, but it's just so messy. Like, work bag, gym bag, purse, lunch bag, AirPods, snacks, leftover coffee mug. I just got Chipotle for dinner. These are my nails also, by the way. I got them done. I think they're That's really what I had cute. Read. It was like Taylor's party. Listening to the morning toast. Kendrick Lamar. Um, and then I also have an extra wardrobe back here if needed. So two jackets, a shirt that you can't see, and jeans. And it's like, my car is a representation of my brain, I feel like. And like, my brain is, I'm very scatterbrained. But I need to clean all this out because I do like to keep a clean car. I have a membership to a car wash that like helps me keep everything clean. Because then I, I go and clean my car and then I vacuum it out and I empty everything um but i haven't gone in a couple weeks so that is why my car is dirty but let's go home and eat this food i'm very hungry um i'm a big 1975 fan and i have been since high school since the song chocolate came out i think and the fact that too Maddie Healy has just made my entire life because I'm a bigger Taylor Swift fan than the 1975 but like it might mean a future music collaboration which would make my entire life like those two singing together oh I'm obsessed obsessed got my Chipotle if you were for any reason curious I get brown rice black beans, sofritas, which is tofu, corn, and lettuce. I get the um, chipotle hot sauce, chipotle, chipotle hot sauce, it's my favorite. I also buy it um, in stock, but chipotle like introduced me to hot sauce. I love hot sauce now. We also get fajita veggies on my, um, on my bowl, as well as lettuce, if I didn't already say that. I will get, will only get the pita veggies if they don't have a bunch of red peppers because a fun fact about me is I will not eat a pepper that's not green. And it's a mental thing. I think they're slimy, but I like green peppers. So I, I know I'm crazy. I know I'm psycho. I've been told it many times before. And then I get a side of guac because if you get it on the bowl, I just find it's too overwhelming in my opinion. 
So I just put a little bit on the side and then eat chips with some of it. And then the dressing is the best part of Chipotle in my opinion. If they don't have the dressing, I like don't want the order. Um, one of you guys sent me a recipe to make this dressing. I haven't made it yet, but I need to. Because there's been multiple times that I go in and I like order all my food and then I'm like, oh, can I have a vinaigrette on the side? And like, we don't have any. I don't take back the food. Or like we, like you don't, you don't have any or like you just don't want to make any because I feel like you can leave it We just took our nightly walk. It's time to take a shower. Okay. Look at me. Look how rough I look. Honey, come inside. I'm not, I gotta go get ready. Come on, Bubba. Camper, come on. Camp. <laughs> he wants me to go outside, so. Come on. Come on. They've torn up a um, stuffed animal, but I don't think I've showed you guys our backyard. This is our backyard completely redone. It looks so good and you guys there's no dirt in my house ever this obviously on the ground doesn't stay like that but they did that like late last night so I was not about to clean it up so I'm like so happy with our backyard it's incredible you guys I am actually the worst I forgot my camera at home today of course because why would I bring my camera with me I I don't post on YouTube anyway it is now Thursday evening. It's like 7.30 and I'm just, it's really, psych, it's eight. I'm just like having myself an evening. I did not get all of my mascara off in the shower. I just took the longest shower of my freaking life because I had to like wash my hair and shave and all of that stuff. Um, so like I'm, I'm tired from that. <laughs> Um, anyway, but today was a great day. The last two days have been great because I'm at my other office location, which I believe I said yesterday, but that office is just, like, we don't get a lot of patients to that office, which is so nice for me. Like, pretty sure today I saw 10 patients, and we always have students with us. Like, our office has students all the time, and it's helpful to have a student over there. One, because they get way more time with the patient, um, sometimes at our other office, like they always go in first and like get the HPI and like do their physical exam and all this stuff. But sometimes I have to interrupt them and I feel rude, but I just am like getting behind with my patients. Um, but this office, I don't really ever have to do that because like I had all the time in the world, I'm chilling. So it was lovely. I had like a long freaking lunch break. I finished my first patient this morning at 11.30. And so I went to the gym, I had a really nice back workout. And then I went to Starbucks, I got a disgusting drink. I always get a brown sugar shake espresso with oat milk, you guys, always. And I get a half sweet. And Starbucks never ceases to mess it up, never. <laughs> I don't know why I get it anymore, honestly. Uh, but whatever doing my skincare routine. I gotta clean the kitchen because Seth cooked dinner tonight, which was so nice. Um, but that means it's my turn to clean the kitchen. All right, you guys. This is like the full backyard. Let me just grabbing my water really quick. But I'm gonna sit out here because the sun is setting. I just thought it would be nice to sit out here while the sun sets. You guys get a good look at the backyard. Camper is obsessed with fetch. You guys all know this, but like he can't not play fetch. This is 
our backyard. We got a little pool for the dogs. Sun is setting. It's not showing up really well on camera, but it's having a lovely evening. Guys, I'm headed to work. I am very, very glad that today is Friday. I have absolutely no plans this weekend, which is fine, honestly. I don't have a ton of plans most weekends um, because I really just have this routine where I like to go to Pilates. I'm sorry for the light changes as I back out of my garage, but um, I like to go to Pilates. I like to spend time with my dogs. Um, I like to spend time with my husband. We like to go to like good dinners and we don't see each other that much during the week. We do now because he is like done with all. I'm sorry. Um, we see each other more now in the evenings because he is not doing any more sports like school is out next week so he's just like wrapping everything up which is super nice but yeah so weekends are not super busy for me sometimes we'll go out, go out to dinner on like a Friday or Saturday night with friends but I'm not just I'm at the age and this probably sounds so lame and like grandma-ish but I'm at the age where like I really just want to be at home <laughs> like a lot of the weekends I just want to be at home so anyway no weekend plans just have to get through today though this morning is gonna be I think I told you guys like I'm, it's, I'm gonna be very busy but it's okay because then it will go by fast and then Seth's gonna come and get Botox during lunch and I'm gonna do a few units of it and then we have afternoon patients I think we only have like eight patients this afternoon so hopefully this afternoon will go smoothly oh my goodness you guys today has been a day it's been a good day though i just need to grab a drink a post-work drink of like a LaCroix or something uh, you guys you know i have not been able to find any dog pops anywhere like they only have coke or something like that uh, coke or root beer but no no dog pops which are the equivalent of dr pepper and it's driving me insane I'm so upset about it, but hi, Oosh. I had a really great day at work this morning. My schedule like didn't end up being as crazy as, as I thought it was going to be. I finished all of my charts by noon, and then for lunch today, I did Seth's Botox. Um, it's harder than it freaking looks. Um, so like my friend did one side, and I did the other half. We did 20 units. We did his crow's feet, and then. Um, his like 11s and then right like above his eyebrows and he was like the side that that Mara my friend did hurt way less than the side that you did and I was like stop <laughs> it was my first time I've never done it before and he was so nice to be a guinea pig that was very nice of him um, but it was fun I liked it and I definitely want to do it more it was just like hard because it's such a small needle so it was like hard to kind of like pierce the skin I don't know anyway it was fun I had a good time I enjoyed it and then my afternoon patients were pretty chill I thought that I was gonna remove an IUD this afternoon but I ended up not because she wanted another one placed and we don't place IUDs we just remove them so Let's go outside before my dogs start barking at me look at these two fools I can't Seth is at a little volleyball party, like a end of the year men's volleyball party get together, I don't know, something like that. So he'll be home around seven in like an hour and we'll probably go eat or something. But other than that, I'm just chilling. It's Friday evening. Just have a TikTok I need to edit. So I'm just gonna do that. I had a really, I had a good week. It started off really rough. Mondays and Tuesdays are honestly hard because I, I see the most patients on Mondays and Tuesdays and then it like slides downhill the rest of the week. So that's cool. I got a raise today at work because I'm doing a good job. So, you know, everything's working out. Everything's working out. <laughs> 